Thank you. The wet weather leading to flooding problems in some areas. Local sense Christina Vasquez is live in Little Havana to show us how it looks out there. Christina. And today, climate scientists are explaining exactly why a brief but intense, even just fast moving rainstorms can cause areas like this to surface flood so fast. This section of Little Havana in Miami is prone to surface flooding. So when up to three inches of rain inundated the area this morning in a short amount of time, wakes of water from passing cars navigating flooded trash filled streets lapped up sidewalks Mucha agua. into Guerrero supermarket where Rosario tells us La linecita. the water flooded the store about six inches before eventually receding. I have seen the same thing. The coastal areas getting more frequent flooding, not necessarily from high tide, but with uh, rain events like the one we had this morning. Dr. Jayanta Obesakara, FIU's Sea Level Solutions Center Director, tells us why in an age of climate change, it doesn't take much rainfall to rapidly cause flooding in low-lying areas. Water level below the ground, because of rising sea levels, have been creeping up. At the community level, we need to make sure that the drainage systems function very well. We are waiting to hear back from the city and this area's commissioner, Joe Corroyo, on what drainage improvement projects may be in store for this surface flooding hotspot. Storm drains and others needs to be clear. So that kind of local drainage systems needs to be ready prior to wet season or storm events like this. And in Pembroke Park this morning, Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue telling us lightning may have contributed to a mobile home fire near a downed power line after a powerful storm swept through the area. Crews working to contain the flames to mitigate against the fire spreading to adjacent homes at the La Siesta Mobile Home Park. No one was hurt. I'm back here live in this section of Little Havana. It's a neighborhood in Miami where I can definitely tell you this soggy, wet pile of trash you see sort of littered along the sidewalks here, certainly creating an interesting stench in the neighborhood. Now, where I'm joining you live is actually near one of the storm drains for this area. I can tell you an update from the city spokesperson. She's telling me that she has reached out to the Public Works Department to get a better handle on how the city has been clearing out the storm drains and preparing for the upcoming hurricane season. Reporting live, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Which